the final round. Cloudy, overcast conditions. Denny Brower, the defending champion, has charged back into contention in the Virginia Invitational with a topwater lure, the Rebel Pop R. Brower won here last May with a soft plastic lizard pitched in flooded bushes, but has had to adapt a different approach for this tournament. He's working the nothing-looking banks, flat gravel clay areas, the secondary points overlooked by other contenders, fishing the deeper drops in the Nutbush Creek area. Shad baitfish are another key to his success, and the flicking retrieve with a topwater pop R that mimics a spooked shad. With this bass in the boat, Denny's definitely back in the hunt. Kneeling and reeling, tournament leader Gerald Beck is deep cranking, working hard. But there are no dividends yet for his backbending efforts this morning. He's thinking about changing area and technique. David Fritz, in third place, has also had a slow start. He wasn't even on the bottom, close to being on the bottom. I don't think he's going to go make gray, but... Rick Clark, second in the standings, is on high 24 with his trolling motor, covering the shoreline with rapid fire casts and a spinnerbait. Strikes are few and far between. Gerald Beck has switched to a Carolina rigged plastic lizard, and it pays off. And David Fritz's repeated cast to his underwater stumps has brought results. It's a big fish. Water body got him hooked. Can you help me? Oh man, I had barely got him. I knew the way he hit it. Just get your hands on it. He ain't real big, but he's the one I need. I have barely got him. Just grab him. There you go, grab him. <laughs> Thank you. I had him fire hooked. I thought he was a bigger fish than that, but I'll take him right now. Several patterns are working. Ed Cowan of New York has hooked a dandy largemouth on a topwater plug. Partner Zell Rowland of Texas in sixth place needed this fish to his credit. A grateful Ed Cowan will gladly credit Zell with an assist in the box score if they land this lucker. <laughs> the cedarwood crankbait David Fritz is using has a weight insert, causing the bait to suspend and float up on a stop and reel retrieve. This erratic lure action triggers strikes. Zell Roland has modified his topwater lure. Originally a magnum sized Rebel Pop R, it's been sanded down by hand had a facelift to alter the cupped mouth, and the treble hooks changed to a larger number five size. The paint job is Zell's handiwork, a dark back with light green sides and a flash of metal flake. He's missed few strikes since changing to the larger hooks after a disappointing first day of the tournament. Oh, yes. Then, moments later, another strike. Oh, he missed it! Sell! But then, an unbelievable second chance. A follow-up strike. Oh, he's barely hurt. Right. Hmm, he likes me. Kerr Reservoir, or Bugs Island Lake, whatever you call it, 
This is some bass fishery. And this Bassmaster Virginia Invitational is just too close to call. 18 pounds and five out. There's your winner. The tournament right there unless somebody passes it. All right, and puts you right up there. And clearly puts Denny you Brower, the defending champion, is back on top with a three-day creel of 44 pounds, three ounces. Now, here's Zell Rowland from sixth place. He's got to load. 18 pounds, nine ounces. He's taking the lead, I believe. Let's wait one officially. They're tied. 18-9, put him in the tie with Denny Brower. That's the good news, he's tied. But the bad news is one of his fish was dead. One of the fish were dead. That means he has a two ounce penalty, which will move him down from the lead to the tie by two ounces. You understand that? That's the way it is. Gerald Peck has topped the leaderboard for two days, but slips today. Only three bass and five pounds, 15 ounces. Rick Clun's gonna make a run at the leader. He's got another five bass limit. Not quite heavy enough, but still a good limit. 12 pounds and eight ounces. Watch it close. 1280 it is. All right, let's give him a nice hand. Rick Clark. It's not over yet. There's still one threat. David Fritz, the Bassmasters Classic World Champion. 15-5. All right, watch the scale closely. He has taken it. 15 pounds and 15 ounces. That is your win of the tournament. Right here. Man, I cannot believe that is remarkable. Back to back, a classic. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever won a classic in my recollection. And then come right back and won the first invitational. Fritz is on a roll. Ray, it's just a miracle is all I can say. I struggle today. I've been fishing in that bush. Uh, I said, well, I'm going to go where there's some big fish lives and just gamble a little bit. So I went up in grassy. I pulled up there and I caught that one big one. And about 30 minutes, 45 minutes later, I caught another big one. And I caught one that won the tournament for me with about 10 minutes to go. The final totals, David Fritz, 15 bass and 44 pounds, 14 ounces. A real squeaker. Denny Brower only 11 ounces behind, followed closely by Zell Rowland in third, and Rick Clun finished fourth. Show him here this win through the mic, can you? <laughs> right now, it's time for the pros pointer, the how-to section of the Bassmasters. Brought to you by Wrangler, the most comfortable jeans known to man. What we got here is the a, is a lower retriever that that I use all the time. It's called a gripper lure retriever. It saves me just tons of money, especially when I'm fishing with some baits that, that are really productive baits and I don't wanna, use, don't wanna lose them. What I've done, I've hooked it to my anchor ring. And what this does, it allows me to drop my lure retriever down. And once I, I get a hold of my lure and retrieve it, I can actually just wind my lure up. And by doing that, this uh, anchor ring winds itself up. So you hang that line laying all in the boat. And, to trip over, fall over, whatever. So it makes it a little faster process. And this is how you how you put it on your line. It just slides on real simple like this. You drop it down to your lure. And see how we've got this thing hooked? That's a pretty bad position. But if you bounce it, see how easy it just knocks your lure loose? I guarantee you, if you'll get you a good lure retriever, it'll save you a lot of money. Because these crankbaits cost four or five bucks a piece, a lure retriever costs about six. It'll save you that much money, probably the first five casts you make every day. Give it a try, I guarantee it'll help you. David Fritz, he's a winner. At deep crankbait fishing, he may be in a class by himself. For sure, he's at the head of the class if you want to learn some lessons in fishing diving plugs. Next week, our Bassmasters TV cameras take you to Peoria, Illinois, and the Illinois River for the first ever Bassmasters Superstars Tournament. It's an all-star cast, the legends of bass fishing, and a test for the best. Rising muddy water is indeed a challenge. We'll see how it plays in Peoria. For the Bassmasters, I'm Bob Cobb. We'll see you all next week.